everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be decorating my bedroom in the Cupid's Castle. Now, this is what the Cupid's Castle looks like. It is so beautiful and gorgeous. And you guys are probably like, hello, Zul, aren't you gonna be doing a video where you decorate the entire castle? So I am currently um, decorating the castle right now, but I figure that if I do it all in one video, the video would be like, a day long or something because I am trying to put a lot of detail into it. So I'm actually going to be doing a Cupid's Castle tour video pretty soon. Today I'm just going to be decorating the bedroom. I wasn't really sure what to do for today's video so I just thought maybe I'll do like a bedroom build. It's been a hot minute since I did a building video on my channel mainly because I really did want to save up gems for this update so that I can buy everything. If you guys would like to see how I decorate my bedroom make sure to hit that subscribe button and let's go ahead and get into the video. Alright, so this is the room that I decided that I want to be my bedroom. This is a very top room. As you can see, um, we are all the way at the top of the castle and this is kind of just like its own little room. Um, either It was either going to be this room or another room, which I will show you right here. It was either that room or this room right here. This room is so cute and I love how it shares like a bathroom with another bedroom, like a Jack and Jill bedroom. But I might actually make this like a guest bedroom for friends and stuff and guys I love the way this furniture looks like oh my gosh it reminds me of my childhood and I kind of tried to decorate this room already with like the different wallpapers and the flooring but I don't think I like it I don't know what it is so <laughs> we're gonna see how I decorate this room I have an idea of what I want to do with this bed right here but I feel like I'm going to end up covering up these hearts if I do what I think I'm going to do and um, we'll just We'll just see how it turns out, honestly. Like, I think it'll be cool. All right, so this is the wallpaper that I have right now. Um, it is sprinkles, and the reason why I have sprinkles is because um, my donut squad donuts have sprinkles on them. So I thought about having this idea, but then I'm not really sure if I want to do like a candy themed house just yet um maybe in the future i will but for this one all right so there is a photo on discord um i'll insert it if i can still find it but there is a photo that dr kung fu llama posted and it's so beautiful it has like the um brick walls with like the pink and um dark pink roses like rose detailing and i really want to do like a castle themed room since this is a castle and since this is the top room i really do want to to make it look like a castle so let's go ahead and go to wallpapers and i think the wallpaper that she used is going to be it's one of the newer ones i think i think it came out during halloween so it's this one right here i don't know why it looks so blue to me i don't know maybe it's just my skin oh wait there's two different kinds okay so there's this one right here and then also this blue one. I think I like the blue one a little bit more. Just imagine doing a Queen of Hearts room to like this pattern. That would be so cute. Oh my goodness. That'd be so cute for Halloween. Okay, so we're gonna go with this pattern right here. I don't think there's any other brick patterns that I can go for other than those two. So I'm just checking right now. Of course, they have like the tile detailings and stuff, but no, I don't see any other ones I can go for that I would like to go for. Okay, so now that we have our flooring and walls decorated, I want to do, I want to change the color of this bed. Like I love the brown color and how it's more of like a warm brown, but I really want to do maybe like a white. I love doing white furniture if you guys couldn't already tell. I was really surprised because a lot of people actually really like this hack okay so i really want to figure out how to do this leaf vine hack that doc has because whenever i put these close together they kind of glitch like that and i'm not really a fan of how that looks so i think i'm i'm not actually sure what she did for it but i'm just going to try to guess and like put shapes together and hope for the best <laughs> Um, possibly this pyramid. All right, so it's okay if this goes out a little bit in the ceiling just because there's nothing up there. There's no rooms or anything. Oh my gosh, it's so red. Okay, so that's kind of what I want to go for right here. This type of look, pinks and purples, maybe even like blues and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this and try to figure this out and speed this up.
Okay, so this is what I have so far for the flower or rose wall. I thought about having the bed in front of it kind of like this, but I really want to do like this princess bed thing where it has like the pillars that go up and then possibly some type of shape or item that makes it look like curtains are kind of like going downwards. I actually saw um, Doc do this in her house, I think, where she used, I think it was like this halloween mirror or like frame and she turned it upside down to make it actually look like a banner and i really like the way that looks so maybe we can like incorporate that um curtains for this bed so let's go ahead and start the bed frame and then of course i really want to kind of just outline this side right here okay so maybe it might actually work we'll see actually i might have an idea now that i think of it we can probably use this platform to kind of just frame the bed around the bed and not actually on the bed. Oh my gosh, why is this? Hello's will figure it out. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is kind of what I was talking about with the little curtains and stuff. Obviously, we don't have curtains in the game, but you can kind of just make do of these Halloween um, portraits right here. And I will link this wallpaper in the description box, the ID to this wallpaper if you guys wanted to use the same wallpaper as well. Alright, so that's kind of the idea I had. I might actually end up changing these now to like that dark pink color. All right, so we have those colored to that already. Okay, so there's one more thing that I wanted to add to this area, which is the heart rug. I absolutely love this heart rug so much. It's so pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Sometimes I'll use like these small walls or sometimes I'll actually use like, let me see, let me show you guys what I use too. So sometimes I will use like the large slabs right here to do that. Okay, so I like to get as close as I can to the wall like that so it's not like sticking out too much. This is what I like to do when I have large spaces of like walls and stuff. I feel like it kind of just like changes up the room and stuff. And then of course you can do like paneling towards the bottom if you guys wanted to do that as well. Oh my goodness, I don't know how I'm going to decorate this room. Let's go ahead and go back into furniture. Maybe that will give us like an idea of what we would like to do. So I actually really, really love this like heart couch love sleep type of thing right here it is literally like the cutest thing ever i don't know if it's going to fit in this area probably not i know we totally just changed this to like a pet area but i'm gonna go ahead and move this to here now <laughs> oh that would be so cute right there as well um i'm gonna go ahead and add a bath area and i'm gonna go ahead and maybe put let's put two of these actually so let's go ahead and i don't know exactly what i want to do for the colors Alright guys, so this is kind of what it looks like right here. I feel like I still need a little bit more because it's kind of boring. I guess you can say I kind of did like a little DIY type of Cupid's Fountain thing over here because I did take some inspiration from it. I don't know why I keep going on my backpack. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead. I don't even know what to add here, actually. I really wish we had like sprinklers or something because that'd be so cute. I would have actually added this cutie bathtub in here, but I feel like it would have been way too big and stuff. So I actually really like the sitting area over here so this desk right here the cutie desk it is awesome it's it is absolutely adorable this is like my childhood right here totally my childhood oh my gosh that's so pretty 
Okay, there we go. We got the rug. Okay, so there's like 10,000 rugs going on in here, but that's totally fine. I really like the way this table looks like. It's so grand. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change that gold detailing to like the green so that it kind of looks like it matches along with um, what we have going on over there. Okay, I really like how this looks, guys. This is so pretty. And then I really want to add another cutie heart plant over here. I just want to add these everywhere in this house because they're so pretty all right guys so i think i am finished decorating my bedroom in the cupid's castle and i i i honestly just cannot wait to show you guys so if we go in this is what the room looks like and i'm so thankful that they allow us to turn off the furniture interactions because without it then we'd have a bunch of like ui on the screen but guys this is kind of just what the room looks like as you guys can see it is so girly and cute and oh my goodness there's so much pink so if we start over here this is the little love seat area where you can sit down and kind of just chill and stuff i ended up putting a heart rug behind there just to kind of just fill up that empty space and then also on those um paneling on the walls i ended up putting those neon light bars to kind of just add more like cool effects and lighting and stuff i love lighting as you guys can see we have so many of like the hanging lights in here and some of them did end up overlapping so if you guys have any like billing tips on how to avoid um those lights overlapping like that then let me know down below in the comments i'd love to know your suggestions and stuff like that and then this is the bed that we ended up building right here i at first didn't put the butterflies around the pillars but when i looked at this area i thought it was kind of plain so i ended up putting butterflies around this area and i was like you know what that would actually be so cute going around the pillars and this idea was actually kind of inspired by cuppy's butterfly garden so shout out to her for designing that butterfly garden because without that I think the room would look kind of boring without the butterflies so as you can see there's so many butterflies going on it's so cool and then over here guys I thought that it looked kind of boring as well so I ended up putting fog machines I have like one hiding right here as you guys can see there's one right there and then there's one in the middle you guys can't see it because these shapes luckily cover it up so I wanted to add some sort of like cool effect over here by the water just so that it's not like super boring looking just just sitting there so I kind of added like this little steamy effect right here it is so cute I really love that and I really wish we can get more things that have like more animations like more furniture that has like animated effects and stuff so like sprinklers and possibly even like heart like animations and stuff I think that'd be really cool for them to add later on over here is where I just put the pet bowls because I wasn't really sure where to put them but oh my gosh guys look how romantic and pretty and pink just this room looks with all the pink lighting and stuff it is so pretty i love it oh my goodness i think my favorite part of this room would probably have to be the bed area because i really love the way that these um mirrors kind of look make this bed look it makes it more grand looking and it kind of just acts as like curtains and stuff and then my second favorite part would have to be this area because it's so cute shout out for a doc for the inspiration of this flower wall right here with the petals and stuff um honestly guys if it wasn't for her then i would wouldn't have figured out how to do this and make this look actually good because without the leaves in between it everything would be all glitchy and like all messy and stuff so shout out to doc for that idea and then also shout out to Kepi for like the butterfly ideas as well we have so many creative and amazing builders in our community i love it so much so shout out to them oh my gosh guys and then this is of course what the um vanity area looks like i had an idea of putting these flower frames around the flowers right here to kind of just add more dimension but i don't think that we can add custom photos in these frames just yet i tried to add just like a regular yellow photo because in the middle of the flower it's like yellow and stuff so i wanted to try that out with these guys it didn't let me change the decals in these photo frames so i think i'm gonna have to wait on that i think it would have been a really cute idea and stuff so maybe next time i will try to do that but anyways guys that is going to be the end of this video this is the full room tour right here as you can see a full 360 oh my gosh i'm so excited to sleep in this bed anyways guys if you'd like to see more overlook bay builds build hacks speed builds whatever it is um then definitely hit that subscribe button and turn that subscribe button from red to silver because i love to have you part of our donut squad we have so many amazing things coming on the channel and i really want you guys to be a part of it so make sure to hit that subscribe button become part of our family and i will see you guys next time bye